Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you. Today I've got a knife that, you know, I've been kind of comp interested in for a long, long time. Certainly something I've known about, something that every other knife reviewer has looked at and loved. And, and you know, I so I, I've been wanting to to pick one up, but not really willing to pay for a knife that I knew was too small for me. And and now having it, you know, in hand and, and having it on hand to, to play with a little bit, um, I would confirm that, yeah, this is a, not a knife I would want to buy or own because it's just too small, but um, it is a really, really nice knife. And if you're the kind of guy who likes smaller knives, this could be perfect for you. Uh, the size on this is seven and one sixteenth. So just a hair over seven inches, three inches of blade length, four and one eighth closed. All right. So pretty small in pocket three and three eighths grip area, which is just barely enough. You can see my, my size large hand doesn't quite fit on the handle fully, but mostly it's fine. Um, and the weight on this guy is going to be 3.3 ounces, uh, a knife, this small, this weight, um, of course it carries really, really comfortably. Um, and I almost feel like I don't even need to comment on that because you know, most of the time I'm reviewing larger knives and that's where the concern lies here. But no, this is easily carried. It's comfortable. It's nice. No problem. Um, this one happens to be in D2. Moving on to the blade, you can see this is a really nicely designed blade. Clip point, top swedge, stonewash finish here. It's really well balanced. Like it's not super, super thin. Um, it's it's uh, about 330 seconds in stock thickness. It's moderately thin behind the edge, but not crazy. So, you know, they've kind of struck a decent balance here between, you know, durability and, and cutting ability. I really like the stone wash on this. This one happens to be D2 steel. They are available in um, S35 VN. And I think there might be even a couple of other runs that they did in other steels. Um, flat grind you know, fairly standard stuff here. Uh, but yeah, attractive, small little blade here. The jimping is, is well done. There's a very small sharpening choil, but it should serve for a, a little while at least. And there's already a bit of a smile developing there at the base, but, uh, and I'm assuming this is still probably factory or close to it. I, I don't think Steven has sharpened this a lot of times. Um, the thumb studs, are back far enough to sort of be out of the way of the cutting path, which is a nice touch and, and very thoughtful on SOG's part. And that does bring us to the action. SOG, you know, you've got to give them credit because they have mastered the crossbar lock flipper knife, right? Uh, there there have been a few of them that I've handled. Uh, of course, most impressive is the, the Terminus XR, uh, which uh, was was just fantastic great flipping action on that knife. Um, and, and in order to do that, they do have to stiffen the detent a little bit. So this flips really, really well. If you use the thumb studs, you can feel it's a little stiff, not bad, but just a little stiff. Okay. So something you kind of got to be aware of if you're going to be planning to use those thumb studs all the time. Um, overall, again, I think SOG is by far doing the best job of, of combining a crossbar style lock with a flipper tab. It, it's very satisfying. Um, you know, this is definitely a fidget knife for sure. And the lock itself, again, this is a test I often do. If I can do the one finger release, uh, that's, that's something I'm pretty happy about. All right. Not every crossbar lock and it does a good job with that, but the SOG definitely does, uh, or at least the Terminus does. Um, I'm trying to think back whether or not the, uh, um, whether the seal XR is the knife I was thinking of the seal XR, uh, does equally well. I can't be as sure about that. All right, moving on now. Sorry. I've, I've kind of digressed on the action. Let's get back to business here. Uh, the handle here, we've got a small handle G10 over stainless steel. I mean, this is fairly common stuff. If you're used to, um, folding knives, the, the clip is really well done. And SOG tends to do this, you know, you've got this bent over clip that, that, uh, slides in between the scale and the backspacer or the um, liner and the backspacer. And you can see how there is another space available. So you could flip this to left side, tip up carry, making this a fully ambidextrous knife. All right. Uh, so again, if you're a lefty, I think this is very, very lefty friendly. You'll probably love it. I'm not, so it, I don't really care all that much about that, okay? Uh, but, 
you know, it's a nice touch. Um, the the G10 here is grippy. It's comfortable. I have no issues with the G10. Really, there, there are no real hot spots. The, the handle just feels a little bit cramped, which is pretty common for a smaller knife. So if you're if you're not, you know, if you're the guy who's always carrying three inch bladed knives, you're probably used to that and don't even give it a second thought. You just kind of go, well, that's what that's what all all uh, folding knives feel like in hand. They have drilled out these liners to save weight, which is great. Um, and so, yeah, those are those are the main features. We've talked about the blade. We've talked about the action. We've talked about the handle. Uh, everything is pretty good on this, other than the fact that, you know, the blade is just a little short and the handle is a little cramped. But that kind of comes with a smaller knife. All right. Uh, in terms of comparisons, I do want to throw the... Kershaw Iridium back in here. Where did I set it down? Um, well, while I'm looking around for that, um, the Civivi Cubit is a good comparison. Um, here is, let's throw in a pair of two just because, now this is going to be closer in size to a pair of three. But because, you know, many of you will probably be familiar or maybe even own a pair of two of your own, you'll, you'll kind of go, okay, I, I get the size now. I know what, what that's all about. Um, a Manix is perhaps worth taking a look at. Of course, the Manix uh, is not too crazy big. So this might be appealing to somebody who, you know, who tends to lean toward the smaller stuff. Um, and of course, in the standard version, the Manix will have a similar lock. So uh, I think it makes a good comparison in that department as well. Um, considerably more real estate for your fingers if you're a guy with larger hands like me. Uh, of course, there'd be a, ben a bunch of Benchmades that would be similar. The Bug Out would be the obvious one. The Griptilian would be bigger. My Super Freak here is bigger. Uh, I had already mentioned, and uh, when I turned my chair around, was able to find the Kershaw Iridium. Uh, both of these knives did come from uh, Steve, which is uh, Daily Pocket Dumps uh, on Instagram. Go ahead and give him a follow. All right. Uh, overall thoughts on the SOG Terminus? Well, I mean, this is pretty much a foregone conclusion. You know, there's a reason that everyone really likes this knife. It's well done. Okay. Um, you know, SOG has had a lot of hiccups and I, you know, I have no confidence in where they're going for the future with the, with the GSM purchase, but, uh, this knife is really good. They've got a few, you know, handling this knife makes me, you know, want to reacquire, uh, one of the new flashes from SOG and, and reacquire one of the seal XRs, uh, because those are really, really good knives that I really enjoyed owning. Um, so, you know, maybe that'll be something you'll see in my most carried or something like that coming up in the, in the future. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks Steve for letting me borrow this knife and check it out. It's really, really well done. I have to, I have to give a lot of credit here where credit is due, despite the fact that oftentimes I've taken many, many issues with SOG. Uh, go ahead and check those channel sponsors. It's a huge help to the channel when you use those affiliate links. Uh, I've got Blade Ops down there. I've got DLT Trading. And of course, use my discount code SHARPSTUFF at White Mountain Knives. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.